take some time to talk about some basic offensive theory, and then we'll do what we can to look at some of the plays in the offensive zone uh, from our last go around, at least for the first little bit of the first period. And then if you decide that uh, what you can see is worthwhile, um, we can dig in a little bit more to it. But let's take a look and just look at the offensive half of the ice and talk about um, where uh, we are all lining up and what some of the roles, responsibilities of different positions might be and why those are important. Let's start with why here. We're going to actually start by laying out where your best scoring opportunities on the ice come from. And this is all about um, how the goaltender should be playing you and the angle that you have to shoot the puck on a goaltender uh, from any of these particular areas. So we're going to start out with the prime real estate, the area that we always want to have somebody in and where your best scoring chances come from. That's this area right here in front of the net. We're going to make it nice and green, right? And it extends from the net in between the hashes, uh, really all the way out to the top of the circle. Uh, up that close, right, you you have all parts of the net to shoot on. You can see all the net, you know, wherever the goalie is going to line up. Let's throw a goaltender on the ice here. You know, the best thing a goalie can do uh, in these situations is be as close to the shooter um, as is reasonably possible. We'll make this goalie a nice red goalie for the opposing team. Um, but you can still see and shoot at all parts of the net, and you've got a full angle on any part of the net. It's easy to hit any part of the net from here. Uh, with a reasonable degree of accuracy. Um, and this is where your best scoring chance are going to come from. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this is called the slot, right? And this is where um, we always want to have somebody. And then if we're on defense, we always want to make sure that we're covering up, right? Um, your next best shots are going to come from this area. Kind of, I'm oversimplifying here, but we'll oversimplify. That's fine. Kind of these areas from the top of the circle, to the face-off dot from slot to slot, and then this whole area up at the top here. We're gonna mark these as yellow. There we go. Reason being is that these uh, still have reasonable angles on the goal. You're not getting so short where the goalie can take away most of the net just by being positioned well. You have a reasonable chance of, of beating out. You're far enough away where the goalie has to be out to come out, let's see here, uh, let's make that back here where the goalie has to be out to come out and take off some of the angle on the shot, right? You're not allowing the goalie to just sit back in his crease. You're making him come out, making him move from side to side, get that lateral mobility just to come out and face these shots. Goalies at this distance should be out at the top of the crease, moving around the circle um, in order to face those shots. Um, next, you're going to have areas that are not great places to shoot from. Um, you can still score goals from here, but you have to get a good bounce, have to get a little bit lucky. These are primarily areas where you're looking to either shoot as a as a pass, so to bank it off of the goalie's pads um, as a pass to someone. Um, you're looking to make an effective pass from here or, or sometimes even just win the puck and get it back to a better position on the ice, either by skating or passing. That's these two areas down low. Now, one of the reason being is because the goalie doesn't have to move as much for these. You know, the goalie, when you're thinking about the angle that you have, well, you can take away pretty much any angle that you want um, just by being in the right spot on the ice here. You know, when you think about, um, you know, the angle that they have to shoot on, there's not much here. If we're going from the top of that to the top of that, right? Um, even as a goalie, that doesn't give you a, a whole lot of space to cover. All right, we get a goalie back here. Obviously, I'm still getting used to using this, uh, this system here. It doesn't give you a whole lot of space to cover. It doesn't give you much uh, in terms of need to move laterally, you know, top to bottom, side to side. Even to get a good amount of the net covered and only have a few spaces to shoot at, um, it, it uh, isn't much. And that's even from the top of the faceoff dot. As you get down lower and cut away that um, angle towards the net, you know, when you think about anything down below kind of this line here, right? As a goalie, you can kind of park yourself in one spot. Um, and as long as you are, you know, facing the puck or even tucked up against the post, you're taking away almost all of the net that they have uh, from areas in that spot, in that location, right? So it's all about the shooting angles that you get as a shooter and the goalie, what they have to do to work to make 
uh, life very difficult for you. There's a lot less movement that you have to do on those. Um, so you want to make sure that, you know, if you're down in this area, you're looking to pass, you're looking to skate, or you're looking to shoot as a pass, right? Bounce it off the goalie to somebody um, in a, you know, hopefully in the slot in prime real estate. Um, and then there are a couple areas of the ice that are more about winning battles than they are any attempt to score. And that is this area behind the net. And this area, you know, right around the top of the blue line here from center ice to just a couple of steps inside, right? You're probably not going to score from any of these uh, locations. Um, mark these as blue. Um, you're probably not going to score from any of these locations unless you're able to, say, like, bank it off the back of a goal goalie here. Sometimes that's an option. Um, do something weird where you flip it over the top. That sort of thing. From this distance, it's usually too far out. A couple of games ago, for me, notwithstanding. Um, you know, it's about getting into the zone, making good entry choices, making good entry passes. 